Hello students, in this video we'll see how Green's theorem can be used to compute areas inside special curves. Let's consider, for example, the ellipse x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. So we have a standard ellipse, that's the standard form of an ellipse. something like this, where that's negative A, that's positive A over there, and that's B, and negative B, so there's our ellipse. I'd like to know what the area inside that ellipse is. What's the area inside? So question, what is the area inside? Okay, so to answer this, we're going to parameterize the ellipse. So we can parameterize this ellipse as follows. X of T is equal to A cosine of T y of t is equal to b sine of t, for t between 0 and 2 pi. 0, lesser angle to t, lesser angle to 2 pi, is a parameterization of this ellipse. Now, what I can do is I'm going to choose a special vector field and apply Green's theorem. So, if we let c be the curve, that's the boundary of the ellipse, let c be the ellipse, we have its parameterization right here, I'd like to find the flow over this closed curve of this special vector field, which is negative y over 2 comma x over 2 dot t hat ds, which in some text is written like this, the integral over c of negative y over 2 dx plus x over 2 dy. They mean the exact same thing. We can apply Green's theorem to this, so by Green's theorem, this is equal to by Green's theorem, The double integral over the interior of this ellipse of the x derivative of x over 2 minus the y derivative of negative y over 2 dA. Now, of course, this is 1 half, and that's negative 1 half, so that adds up to 1. So this is just the double integral dA over the interior of the ellipse. So that's just going to be what? That's just going to be the area of the interior. When I say the area of the ellipse, I mean the area in interior to the ellipse. The ellipse itself is the boundary curve, right? But the area inside the ellipse is what we're after. Now, so that's this formula over here, this flow integral, will give me the what? It gives me the area of the ellipse. So let's compute the flow integral. So what is... Um, negative y in the curve, so this is going to be the integral. The flow is actually equal to the integral from 0 to 2 pi. What is negative y? That's going to be a negative b sine of t over 2, comma, what is x? x is a cosine t, a cosine t over 2. I'm going to dot that with what? The derivative of this curve, so the derivative of x is going to be negative a sine t, negative a sine t. The derivative of y is going to be b cosine t, dt. So let's do the dot product. Everything is a factor of 2, and then I'm going to have a b times a and a b times a, so I'm going to have a a b over 2, common to everything, then the integral between 0 and 2 pi of what? Of sine squared of t, sine squared of t, plus cosine squared of t, dt. That, of course, is just 1, so that gives me a a b over 2 times 2 pi. The 2's cancel out, and we see that this is what? This is pi times a b. So the area inside of the ellipse, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared, is equal to 1. The area interior to that ellipse is pi times a b, which we can say is it's pi times the length, half the length of the major axis times half the length of the minor axis. Thank you very much.